Hello and welcome to the next turn of Dominions where everything is going terribly. But um, at least it's going worse for some other people, it's unclear. I got this message from Midgard, I had no idea this was going on, I'm just going to read this out. Midgard falls, but uh, on lies by the combined conspiracies and treacheries of Ulm, that's me. Ulm slaves formerly known as Avalon, Utgard, their ancient foes and their starveling dog Pythium. It should be no surprise that it would take so much to bring us down mighty manly vikings, we feel no shames. This is our most glorious moments. We will fight, use our enemies to the bitter's ends. We must choose to serve, then we serve them what um, beans our friends from the beginnings and has fought with us valiantes. If God rules in the days to come, these other wretches will face us no better than those of us who resisted the cold, heartless giants. So, um... Maybe this means I'm not the biggest loser? That's how I'm reading that. I'm, look, I'm still hoping to survive till turn 40. It's unclear. The situation is grim. But um, a few things that's looking up. We're quite a good number of blood slaves. Uh, so last turn I sent four vampires out. They're just going to cast one rook. Volley of Shadow Blast and then they're going to retreat hopefully back to the fortress. That's the plan and this is what's happened. These came through. So that happened, but also it gives me a fairly decent idea of what's here. Some gems involved. Because it's the, it's the Kings of Rain that I'm after. That's what I'm really after. And a lot of slaves. <clears throat> if I can avoid the bless, which is the plan. Um, maybe I can cope with the situation. <clears throat> So the Shadow Blast did some stuff and then they fly off before anyone is able to arrive, arrive which is good. And I think uh, maybe I used one of their Blood Slaves. Uh, so one of them was killed. I killed one Jaguar Warrior which is can hardly be construed as a victory. Um, but it does give me this information as well. Even if I kill a few of the commanders, I'm kind of hoping that when they do attack me, he'll be okay. Um, so let's have a look what's happening. Um, Balthazar and Elbricht are sneaking 80 rangers into Ulm, and Conrad is seeking these rangers into Ulm as well. Uh, part of the concern is my fortification uh, is down to 349. I don't think he'll be able to bring it down to zero next turn, but it's possible. What is a great news is I can get Construction 6 and Enchantment 6 completed next turn. It requires 555 and I have 561. So I threw in all the research items. I, I gamed this to just try and get them both. So that allows me to construct my Blood Heart so my Vampires can assassinate. And I also get Rigor Mortis. I'm not super familiar with this spell, um, but I'm hoping it will give me a huge advantage. In the battle, another big um, spell I'm putting so much hope on is darkness, which I can also cast. The battlefield is the, the battlefield is covered in the darkness, strong enough to render torches almost useless. Most ordinary beings will stumble and have great difficulty fighting or shooting in the darkness. So this affects basically everything, which is fine, except the horde of skeletons, which I'm hoping um, to use. In a perfect world, what's going to happen is the fort isn't going to be sieged down next turn. I'm going to produce a whole bunch of assassin items. Then the next turn I'll assassinate as many commanders as I can, hopefully all of them. The best, best outcome is if what commanders are left attack with a token force and get annihilated. Um, that's it. I'm also trying to sneak um, this another Balthazar into here, just sneak in some rangers to try and get more forces into Ulm. Uh, Just, just trying to get more. Find some vampires in there as well because um, I'd rather have them in Ulm um, for the big battle. Uh, and I'm breaking Siege with this guy and he's got like 10 thralls and that might work. Yeah, there was a battle over there. I think that was my spy. This is my universe. This is it. Um, one thing that I am quite pleased about is that's the washing machine. Please ignore it. Is that. Um, 
Providence has just been ignored. Like, this is my huge Achilles heel. That was income. I'm just done. Unfortunately, um, it's just been ignored. Uh, this is totally my Achilles heel, this province. So glad I still have it. And the income here. If you just siege these with token forces. But he just wants to deal with the situation here. But here I am. Here I am. Here I am. It's a lot of astral mages, so it's definitely communions that's going to happen. But yeah, okay. <sighs> next turn will still be uneventful, but hopefully the turn thereafter or the next one. Um, hopefully it will. <laughs> I can't believe that God's blaming me for his death. It's hilarious. I guess he know how fucked I am. Oh, uh, okay. Hope to see you. Um, Next time, and thank you for watching. <laughs> Goodbye.